tell me what what heterosexuality is about. But what is heterosexuality about? <laughs> well, it's about intimacy. It's about caring and trust. It's about all the things that make for an enduring, committed relationship. But when you do it, it means a study, right? It means a reflection of a study. In this case, it's the distillation of all the, the things that work for people who've come to us uh, for psychotherapy for the last 20 plus years. This is not then just a book about, it, it is a self-help book? We I can think, use this book to improve the heterosexual relationship, whatever it may be? I think we can call it that. We didn't set out to use self-help as, as the, the underlying thrust of it, but actually to help prevent, to give people a sense of the things they can do and the, and the ways they can think about their own sexuality, one another, and how to use it effectively. You meet and whatever that is. Right. Have you ever figured out what that is? No, people refer to the chemistry, they refer to uh, finding things in another person that you like and you feel good about and they make you feel good about yourself. But no, I don't think there's a good scientific definition of love. It's as many things as many people think. What do you do with that, I guess, the biggest problem of all? Keeping passion at a pitch. Yes, I think it has eluded a lot of people for a Most, lot of... maybe. Yes, a long time. The idea that you can remain excited by, interested in, and have a lot of good life with the same person. That's impossible to want to come running home when you're married 22 years. Well, I don't happen to think so, but... <laughs> you don't think so? No, I don't. I, I truly think it's, it's attainable. I think it's achievable. I think you have to accept responsibility for it. We've had people say, oh, we don't want to plan anything. We don't want to, uh, to uh, set it up ahead of time because it wouldn't be natural. It wouldn't be spontaneous. Forget that. We plan picnics and then we go out and have a wonderful time. So, as you time. suggest, it's a good idea for a couple to talk about what they're going to do tomorrow night. Well, I think that's a fairly inspiring thing if you can look forward to tomorrow night for, you know, all that period of time. Not just that. Be involved. You know, do some of the things, not the flowers and candy and so forth, but, but care about what your partner thinks.